Yeah, just trying to figure out uh, the intake manifold on this straight eight here. Uh, I'm grouping them together in two uh, gangs of four cylinders uh, just because of the physical length that's way too long for uh, one log type uh, intake manifold. So I'm going to go with uh, the same two carburetors I used on the uh, four cylinder. Now I realize it might be a bit uh, under carbureted as a result of that but I don't know, I was looking at 805 Road King's four-cylinder there and he's got a pretty small carburetor on it feeding uh, the little uh, five cubic inch uh, four-cylinders he's got so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this uh, see how it works the carburetor's probably about half the size that it needs to be but anyway so I'm going uh, made flanges up here and have a three-quarter inch pipe and I'm gonna put a pipe coupling on it and I'm going to cut the coupling in half and then uh, here's my main intake pipe it'll come across two cylinders like that and then uh, end and then I will, I will come in with a single pipe from this cylinder over and then join in the back end of uh, this pipe same thing on this end and I'm also going to incorporate a piece of rubber hose in that uh, intake pipe on each end so that it won't uh, try to tear itself apart. I'm a little bit concerned here with uh, that length of manifold um, because the, the pistons uh, are going up and down at different times you get uh, uh, vibration and uh, things like that so I'm going to try to help eliminate any potential problems just by having a basically a solid welded manifold between two cylinders and then a piece on each end with uh, incorporating a rubber tube that will allow it to flex in case in case you get any rocking uh, flexing between the engines or anything so that's my my intention and then uh, same thing goes on the carburetor it's got a uh, piece of rubber pipe there. Uh, it's going to be a pretty long uh, throttle shaft between the two to join them up but that's the way it goes. So, And the other thing I'm doing as you can see I got uh, two red engines here and then I'm going two white ones and then two red ones and two white ones so it's going to kind of look like a candy cane and the front cover on the there's uh, white it's that one that says eight on it so a little bit of a mixed bag of tricks but uh, Anyway, it takes a lot to, to figure out exactly what the simplest, um, maybe and cheapest, easiest way to, to build a, a bigger engine like this is because, uh, um, you know, like the intake manifold flanges there, you have eight of them to deal with. So the more you have, the, the more you have to kind of engineer it and design it up front to save yourself uh, time, money, effort, all that type of thing. So anyways, I, I think I got her, got her on the go here. So. Just trying to keep you up updated with it there. It'd be nice if the weather would cooperate. It's uh, down 50 degrees today and uh, kind of raining on and off. Uh, I got some black paint for my frame, but haven't been able to get it on it yet. And I also have to finish uh, drilling the, the holes for the, the motor mounts. But I got, uh, of course, the four engines are painted red from the four cylinder, and then I've got uh, three of the four white engines painted now. So get another one cleaned up and painted so things are progressing here so uh, here we got uh, five horse brakes that I'm going to use the uh, it's got the extended camshaft uh, shaft on it there so I'll use it for the distributor drive but man this engine's grungy I'm gonna clean it all up and then paint it white again yeah, certainly got a lot of dirt on it. Pretty sure it's a uh, rototiller engine. They seem to be about the only ones that get this dirty due to the fact that they fling dirt all over the place when they're running. So, lots well, of fun cleaning this one. Just doing a little more layout work here, verifying that a distributor drive is going to work. So, I got one of my. Uh, chain couplings here and then uh, this is going to be the distributor drive it'll come over horizontal or something like that but 
Anyways, it looks like it'll all fit. So that's good. There's a, you know, three eighth inch clearance or something there. So, but uh, looking like it'll all work. So, gotta gotta verify everything's gonna work before I go ahead with it. And drill holes and all that. So, make brackets or whatever. So, well, she it's nice that it uh, looks good. Got all uh, four engines painted now so that's good I can proceed and drill holes and get them all mounted up on the frame there so as long as the weather cooperates so everything's proceeding to come along here <laughs> 